There are three things every single Windows user must do right now, especially if you want to save yourself a whole bunch of money. Um, yes, I have a problem with my computer. It will not go into Windows, and I just wanted to know how much it would cost to bring the computer in for somebody to look into that. Um, what exactly is the, um, the problem with the window? It, it, it just doesn't go into Windows. Thank you for that. Let me just check. Because for in-store, that would cost you $99.99. Um, I have a problem with my computer. It has to start up Windows and then just never gets to the place where I put in my password. Um, what, what would something like that cost me for someone to look at it? Um, then, yeah, most likely we would need to do like a Windows reinstall for that. Um, that would start at ninety nine ninety nine in itself, so about $100 for that. And then if you have any important data on the system um, that you would need migrated off to make sure that it gets saved, we can do that as well for ninety nine ninety nine. Um, okay, got it. So just to be clear, $100 to re redo the installation of Windows, $100 to do the migration. Correct. Dang, those prices are not cheap. And I kind of get it. You have to pay for someone's time to look at your machine. But if you just had three little things ready on a handy USB flash drive, you could save yourself a whole bunch of money and headaches. So the first thing you need is obviously a USB flash drive, but beware, there are many scammers on places like Amazon where large capacity USB flash drives are sold really cheaply. Thankfully, many of them are being removed and are currently unavailable. You see, the problem with fake USB flash drive is that they show up in Windows as full capacity, but when you try to use them, they fail. So the first thing you wanna do is download this free little utility called Drive. Now what this free utility does is check your USB drive by randomly reading and writing data all over the flash drive to verify that the declared storage space is indeed accessible for you to use and that it can read and write data without any issues. Now this is what it should look like. Now let me show you what you don't wanna see. I'm now using a bad USB flash drive and let's run that app again. So you don't wanna see this. This drive is basically useless. Okay, now that we have a working drive, let's create our first utility. You're gonna use this in the event that your computer crashes and you can't even access Windows to run the troubleshooting guide. So we need to create something called a recovery drive. Now, Microsoft says that if your PC ever experiences a major issue such as hardware failures, you'll be able to use the recovery drive to reinstall Windows 10. Personal files and any apps that did not come with your PC will not be backed up. Now, this works for Windows 10 and Windows 11, and as it says, it will delete your personal information and apps, but we're gonna address that shortly. So here is what you do. Right, in your Windows, go to your start and your search, and then just type there, recovery drive, and you see this icon. When that pops up, there's an option there to back up the system files of the recovery drive. Some people say you gotta leave it enabled. Some people say you gotta leave it disabled because it backs up everything anyway. Um, I leave mine enabled. I just wanna make sure everything is on there. Next, you select the drive where you're gonna be backing it up to. That's obviously gonna be your flash drive. It's gotta be bigger than 16 gigabytes. All right, so now let it do its thing. This does take a little while. I'm obviously not gonna make you watch the whole thing. But then when it's done, you're able to reboot your computer and recover it. Now that we have that on a USB flash drive, what about that data? We don't wanna lose that. For that, you need to have a backup system. This can be as simple as saving your files on another flash drive or an external drive, or you can use a NAS to keep your data constantly backed up. But check this out. This is a Cronus Cyber Protect Home Offers, and it does a full image backup it's able to back up your data to the cloud and it's able to do an entire disk cloning which means it's an exact replica of your entire system including systems files applications and everything that you have running on your computer it's able to handle all of that including a whole bunch of additional features now when you want to back up to the cloud you're able to do that depending on the option you choose it comes with some storage and of course you encrypt your backup and it's so secure that if you lose your own password, you are screwed. They cannot 
help you. Your data is good as gone. Now, if you don't want to back up to the cloud, no problem. You can change your destination to back up to another external hard drive, to your NAS, or even a folder somewhere that's on the network. Now, under the tool section is where you're going to find a whole host of utilities. But the one I like is the clone disk option. And if you go through that wizard, by the time you're done, you'll have an exact replica of your entire system. There are, of course, other solutions out there for backups. I'm just letting you know what I personally use. And no, this isn't sponsored by anyone. I just love the features that Acronis has because it goes way beyond just having cloud storage. There are also a bunch of cybersecurity facilities that you get based on the option that you choose. Again, not sponsored, but I do have an affiliate link in the description, which basically means that if you try it and you like it, I get a referral fee and it doesn't cost you anything extra. I got to fund these videos somehow, right? Okay, back to the USB flash drive. So another thing I always recommend having on hand is a Windows media disk. This is essentially the Windows installation files, which you will need in case you ever want to do a fresh installation of Windows or you want to install Windows on another computer. Now, before you come at me in the comments, yes, there is an overlap between the media disk and the recovery disk. I just like having peace of mind that I have a fresh option to install Windows whenever I need to for any reason. You might as well have it and not need it, then need it and not have it. And here is how you create the media disk. So it starts off on the Microsoft website. I'll have a link to this in the description below, but you essentially, you've got to download an installation file and save it to your computer. Once it's there, double click on it, and then it fires up a little wizard and you simply go through the wizard. So it's getting a few things ready. Then there's gonna be this term and condition, which obviously you've read and then accepted. And then this is the important bit. What do you want to do? We don't want to upgrade this computer. We want to create an installation media. So click on that and then click on next. Then leave the settings as they are. Click on next. And next up, select the USB flash drive, which is what we want. Click on next. Choose the flash drive that's already plugged to your computer and then let it do its thing. And that's all that's involved in having the installation files available on a flash drive. Okay, next up, we already spoke about recovering a crash Windows if you installed something dodgy that maybe you shouldn't have, or you've done some updates which are now crashing your system. And this is kind of common, unfortunately, when you update things like your graphics card. But what about if you get a nasty virus? Even if you could get into Windows, malware would typically just disable the antivirus, making it useless. If it's a virus, what do you charge to remove the virus from the computer? Oh, okay, if it's a virus... Okay, okay if, it, if it's determined that it is a virus, that would also be $99.99. .99. It's the same price. Just say there's a virus or something on the computer, um, will they be able to remove that as well? Um, yes, yeah, so there's two ways you can go about that. If you wanted us to do it in store, we can. Um, that is $99.99 as well, so $100 for that service. Um, or once you get the system back and everything set up, we can do it remotely um, from the support center here. You would just call in, and instead of it being $99.99, it would only be $69.99. So what you want to have is an antivirus ready to go, on your flash drive that works without needing Windows at all. There are a whole bunch to choose from and they are typically free. Trend Micro has one, so does Kaspersky, and here is how Norton does theirs. Right, I'll have a link to this in the description again, but Norton Bootable Recovery Tool, that's the web page, you click on the download. Whilst it's downloading, you have to note that it's gonna download an ISO image and then you have to burn that onto your flash drive. Sounds complicated, it really isn't. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. So the first thing you need to do is download an app called Rufus. Again, link will be in the description for it. Rufus basically allows you to burn those ISOs or move them onto a flash drive, making them seem like they're the original DVD or CD that you can boot your computer into. And that's it, you select the ISO that you've just downloaded from Norton, I like to label my flash drive with what they are, so I instantly know what they are when I plug them in. This is my antivirus. I press on start, and then a message pops up on the screen. 
There we go, telling me it's going to erase everything on the flash drive. So make sure it's a flash drive and you got nothing on it. And then you just let it do its process. Once it's done, congratulations, you now have an antivirus on a flash drive that you're able to scan your computer in case you run into any virus related issues. Again, not sponsored. Feel free to experiment with these. And as I said, they are free. So find one that you like, but definitely have one. Ransomware attacks are getting worse. So you don't wanna be caught without a backup, without a way to recover Windows and without a way to remove the ransomware. Otherwise you will be paying tech support, not a small fee. And if I was gonna pay anything, I would rather have an entire year's worth of ongoing backup with a Cronus. Acronis, Acronis, that company. There are other things that you can do with your USB flash drive, such as running a Linux live boot environment or making it into a retro gaming station and more. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a video about that. And check out other usages for flash drive right over here. Give the video a thumbs up before you head out and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.